Hi YouTube, Hungry Julie. I'm a New York based food vlogger who loves everything food. And I'm back with another video and this is another one of uh, a travel vlog that I'm starting to do. It's not a restaurant review or anything. Uh, it's just a travel vlog of a, like a city I go to and today it will be uh, Flushing, Queens, which is I know not very far, but not much of a travel, but you know, it's uh, for me it's travel because uh, it does take at least uh, an hour to get there from uh, where I live, so I consider that travel. <laughs> and it's not like work or home, so to me that's travel. So. <laughs> Um, because of COVID, uh, I really feel like travel to me is um, a lot closer than it used to be. And I used to travel internationally a lot, but because of COVID, even local travel is still travel to me now. Um, so it's, you know, it's different. Um, but I mean, I do enjoy going to places, no matter if it's near or far. So these are my favorite places in Flushing. Um, so I will list the places and the info in the description if you're interested in going to any of these places. Um, I will be going to a Korean restaurant, a bubble tea place, and uh, my favorite hot pot place in Flushing. And um, these are all places that I would give, you know, five stars out of five stars because they're all really great uh so that's why there's no point for me to review them because um i already know they're good so um you know so the places i reviewed before most of them i had never been to before so it was actually like a real review um but these places um i would just give five out of five just because i already knew it was gonna be good and um so i won't review them for you because it'll be pointless <laughs> um but yeah this is um the video of all the places and i went during the springtime so these it's pretty warm now and it's a great time to go out so Definitely check out these places if you can. So enjoy the video. This is the entrance. They have some outdoor tables. This is the inside of the restaurant. There's plenty of seating um, near the bar and in the back. This is the truffle parmesan fries. It comes with ketchup and spicy mayo. It's very crispy. And here's me dipping into the ketchup. <laughs> this is the half soy garlic, half spicy, large portion of chicken wings. There's 20, and I like that it comes with a side of daikon and corn. And here's the glistening chicken. <laughs> my favorite bubble tea place, Xing Futan from Taiwan. As you can see, they make the bubbles from scratch and they also put it in this brown sugar mixture to put in all the brown sugar bubble teas. I find their brown sugar bubble tea is less sweet than like, Tiger Sugar or Biao Sugar or um, any other places. And you can watch the machine make the bubbles from scratch and it's pretty fun to watch. They basically feed the dough uh, into the machine and it molds it into the balls. This is the menu. They have some seasonal specials as well. Here's them making the taro boba uh, milk tea. And this is them making the brown sugar uh, boba milk tea. As you can see, they do brule sugar on top. So when you drink it, you get the crunchy sugar as you drink it. So it's really good. The 
This is my favorite hot pot place, Heidi Lao. So this is the inside of the restaurant. They have booths with partitions and you can order all the hot pot items you want on this iPad that they give you. Um, there's really good pictures. It's pretty easy just to add to your cart and then place the order. Because of COVID, all the dishes are disposable. And we got four broths, um, so you can get you know, two or four, it's really up to you. Um, but we got four of them to try. What I like about Heidi Lao is the fact that their broths are very flavorful and they're full of ingredients when you get them. So this is the pork, uh, this is the seafood tofu. Look how big that tofu is. <laughs> It's like giant. <laughs> and this is the tomato, which is the most popular broth. Um, it's very tomato-y, actually. That's a term or not, I don't know. <laughs> and this is the spicy. Uh, it's probably also one of the popular broths. Yes, look at all those chilies. So it is spicy, uh, if you can handle it. So we ordered uh, the Kobe beef, the beef belly, Also rice cakes, crispy pork, soybean rolls, citron balls. Also order the assorted seafood. We also order the assorted mushrooms and vegetables as well, which I didn't record. They also gave us complimentary fruit, so here's some grapes, they're really sweet. And also complimentary ice cream, so this is pineapple and coconut soft serve ice cream in a sugar cone. It was delicious. Thank you for watching until the very end. Please give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you've been to any places um, if, or you have any suggestions for future videos. I am working on some cooking ones as well. I just thought to start doing these travel ones just to, you know, mix it up. But I am doing my usual cooking and um, restaurant review videos as well. So I like to explore and see if there's like other kind of videos I can make because you know, I do want to improve my channel and make it so that there's different things for you guys to watch. So, um, thanks so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you go to Flushing, remember to check out these places and let me know if you like them or not. Um, I personally always liked Heidi Lau. Uh, it's like one of probably my favorite hot pot place or general restaurant in general um, in New York uh, just because whenever I go there I feel like I'm in China <laughs> so uh, especially right now like you can't go to China but going to Hani Lao reminds me of going to China so <laughs> it's definitely uh, really brings me back to China every time I go there just because it's a really Chinese place to be <laughs> to be honest um, just in terms of like service and um, food, like everything is just really, really Chinese to me. And being in Flushing where it's just like so many Chinese people, um, definitely feel like I'm in China. So um, it makes me feel um, somewhat like, you know, um, home to me just because um, it's full of Chinese people and it's really, really Chinese. Um, so thank you so much for watching. See you next time.